Hi, I'm Alan Whiting from Outback Travel Australia. We're testing the 2017 Euro 5 compliant Isuzu Ute D-Max. The 2017 D-Max goes very well. The increase in torque is noticeable, especially when we did our towing test. And great ability in sixth gear in the new six-speed automatic is very good also. It hangs on the top gear and it will cruise at under 2,000 revs at legal maximum speed. It's a very good on-highway performer. Most utes have really awful suspension out of the factory, but the D-Max is very good. The standard springing and shock absorbers are well matched. There's some noticeable engine noise at idle and when accelerating hard but at cruise, the noise level is quite low. The ride and handling on dirt are also very good. This is one of the few utes on the market that has standard suspension that would be good enough for most travellers. Especially if you're towing. If you were loading it up, you'd probably need to stiffen up the rear end. But as a camper trailer tow vehicle, standard suspension should work just fine. The D-Max is very capable off-road. We're limited a little with this model by the side steps, but it handled our rocky test slope quite easily. A rear diff lock would be nice. There isn't a factory one available, but there are aftermarket diff locks for the previous model and I believe they're all working on diff locks for the 2017 model which has uh, a heavier duty rear diff. The traction control works quite well. And the hill descent control is very impressive. Downhill speed is regulated by the brake pedal and you simply press the brake pedal at the speed you wish and the system does its best to hold that speed. The D-Max ergonomics are very good. All the controls are easy to reach and the instruments are easy to see. Uh, the new D-Max large screen has a good nav mapping system. It has most fire trails on it. The console features USB and auxiliary output and there's room for an electric trailer brake controller. There's also a USB outlet in the back seat. D-Max driving position is very good, it's quite high up so vision on and off road is excellent. The LS model has leather faced seats and a power driver's seat. Very nice. But the back seat is probably best for the short-legged and for kids, there's not a lot of thigh support. There's some hidden storage space under the back seat. And tools in the jack on this side. The LS comes on 18-inch wheels 
the Toyo tyres are pretty good for uh, low profile 18 inch tyres but there is a 17 inch wheel option for which you can get light truck tyres. The D-Max engine bay is very well laid out. Everything you need to get to is easily reached. The air cleaner is very easy to get to. This is a Euro 5 engine and it has a diesel particulate filter which is right behind the turbo and high up in the vehicle, away from dry grass. The D-Max is a very capable four-wheel drive and doesn't need much in the way of accessories. This test vehicle has got uh, an original equipment bar which is very neat and a snorkel but the long suit of the D-Max the most impressive feature is the Isuzu 4JJ1 engine Isuzu you went to a lot of trouble to Euro 5 certify this engine when they already had a two and a half litre that was compliant but this market loves the 3 litre so much, they went to the extra expense of certifying the 3 litre. 3 litre is a good size because it's not totally reliant on the turbo for low speed torque. Some smaller engines surge in off-road conditions as the turbo loses momentum, but a 3 litre hangs on quite well. The D-Max Isuzu 4JJ1 engine has the best pedigree in the marketplace.